Hello again, it is Justin with the Mana Clan for another time. Now, you're probably wondering why it's only me opening these. That's because I bought this lot. Gage might buy the next and he'll be opening some. Also, I like to open stuff more than he does. So yeah, uh, today, uh, Dragons of Tarkir Fat Pack is what we are opening. I paid on dacardworld.com, I paid $32.95. So go visit them, it's pretty nice. Uh, $32.95 for this, that's the goal we're gonna try to hit. I'm gonna start by opening it. That is how these videos work. You can open it first before you can open it. All right. I'm a little reckless here. Um, sometimes I'm a little reckless doing other things. It's not good. So, in a fat pack, it comes with a couple cool things. They are changing these. These are gonna be bundles starting Kaladesh. It'll come with one more pack. I do not know what they're taking out yet, though. But in a fat pack, you get these cool little. Um, these cool little posters here. Uh, they're not that hard to open. Just slide your finger up through. The glue comes right off. You get these cool little posters. I really think they're cool. I've got 500,000 of them, as well as these. I'm just kidding. Uh, but we will be giving these away at any events that we go to. We'll take a, along a box full of crap we don't want. I mean, stuff we don't want, not crap. It's all good. These come with a comprehensive guide to the set Gives you a little bit of the overview of the story. Uh, has the top 10 coolest cards, Wizards thinks. Um, has all the cards in the set. It's even got a little checklist back here that you can check off whenever you get a card. You can, it's got a little square and a little circle. Square, I'm assuming, is for one. Circle is for a full play set. Um, it's trash. It also comes with a box that can hold, I forget how many cards, I think like 800, 900. I'll probably leave it in the comment section. So that's pretty cool. Then it comes with these two cardboard deck boxes that easily holds up to 80 cards, 75. You can hold a 60 card deck and a 75 card sideboard. I mean a 15 card sideboard, sorry. That's a big sideboard. Um, in, in one of these, easily with no sleeves. It does not hold sleeve cards though. Put that somewhere. Um, but this box here, however, is a pretty nice sized box. It's good. It's cool, it's nice, you know, give it a good look over them. And then the last thing, my favorite thing, and this happens to be my favorite dice, comes with a 20-sided dice, aka a spin down in magic in the magic community because these are not actually D20s. And this one is my favorite out of this set. See, I collect dice, um, if you can't tell, and I got this one, I got two of these ones out of this set. But these, this set really went above and beyond, not just the mana colors, and actually doing something different, like they did with uh, the Ravnica block, where they introduced the clan colors for these. Um, like right here is Rakdos. That's pretty cool. Um, either way, that being said, we're gonna move on. We got an 80 card basic land pack. Got it. And then you got your nine packs here. You also got this little um, tip card God damn it. We've got this little tip card that shows you a little bit how to play magic. And it's basically trash. Sorry. Just hit Martin in the eyeball. All right, so we'll start with some packs here. All right. We're going to try to reach our goal of $32.95. I do not know the chase uncommons and commons. Echoes of the Kintry. Rending Volley. Minister of Pain and Sun Scorch Regent, worth nothing. Um, either way, you can look at what this does while I add it to my trade list. 73 cents for that baby. All right, pack one is not looking too good. Moving on to pack number two. Oh my goodness, that's too freaking close. Okay, um, we got all of the commons here. I don't think there's too many commons in this that are worth much. Dramoka's Captain. Uh, Dramoka Captain, I mean. Stonegarm, Stongarm Monk, Silengarm Monument, and Corpse Sweft. Oh, we got a foil Dragon's Eye Sentry. Um, but here's Corpse Sweft. Look at that, maybe. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. Who freaking farted? Damn dog farted. So, 
We'll move on. We're up to a dollar a night. We are reaching our goal quickly, everybody. Quickly. Ancient Carp, that's one of the Chase Commons, yep. Everybody remembers him. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, shit. Alright, so we got Anok Survivalist, or Anok, I don't know how to pronounce that. Gadul Lurker, Acid Spewer Dragon, and Haven of the Spear Dragon. That's actually a little pricey for the lands in this. But I do know that they are really good. $1.66. They're really good for a dragon deck. Dragon tribal deck. Especially one that is in the commander format. I don't know if you noticed, I'm trying to be a little bit more, um, what do you want to say, enthusiastic about my shit. Alright, so we got press the advantage. Um, roast, that is a good uncommon. I'm going to put that on. I think it's like a dollar, or two dollars, I mean. Dollar thirty-one. Look at that. Almost as expensive as the Haven of the Spirit Dragon. Shield High Dragon, and, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even show you that. Shield High Dragon, and, sorry, I, I ruined the surprise. Narset Transcendent. I'm not even going to tell you how many freaking booster boxes you know, I'm trying to get a Narset and a Sarkon. Uh, either way, you can read what she does. She starts with 6th loyalty. Blue, white, 2 colorless. 9.92 for her. I'm sorry, I put her away. So, I mean, I think we might get one more mythic. I literally got a five mythic fat pack out of Shadows of Innistrad. I got one of each Planeswalker that wasn't Jace. Yeah, I got Nahiri, Arlen Cord, and Soren in it. It was freaking crazy. It was crazy. I got a Gitrog monster in, um, from under the floorboards as well. So that was crazy. Rakshasa, Grave Caller, Culligan, Forerunners, Scale, Blessing, that's not a bad card, and Secure the Wastes. Oh, we are up, we're getting up there in price. 771 up to 2169. So we've got five, four more packs here to open. So, I mean, we've literally got to make 14 more bucks and we win. All right, so we got Inspiring Call. Oh, let me get these a little bit more in there. Salt Road Ambushers. Ultimate Price, not a bad card. And Thunderbreak Regent, another good rare. A uh, little, little pricey for the rare slot. 216, it went down. 2385. What we're at. Three packs to go here. I mean, I guess I do know my chase chases in this a little bit. Um, a Tarka Pummeler, Dragonlord Servant, that's okay, Silumgar Sorcerer, and Dragon Tempest. Uh, let me show you what that does here in a second. Um, you can look at that. 94 cents, it's not the best. We up to 25.18, so press the advantage. Stormwing Dragon, Ambush Shaman, and another Corpse Swift. 25.54. One more pack to go, so we gotta hit it big here. I think we are about due for another Mythic. I would love a Foil Mythic, that would be nice. Or a Foil anything above an Uncommon. Dramoka Captain, Sight of the Scale Lords, Dragon Hunter and Radiant Purge. I think we struck out, guys. Um, Radiant Purge. There you go. 43 cents, leaving us at 25.97, about $10 short of our goal. Uh, Radiant Purge, Corpse, two Corpse Swift, Dragon Tempest, Thunderbreak Regent, Secure the Ways, Narset Transcendent. Love it. It's my second one. Haven of the Spear Dragons and Spear Dragon and two Corpse Rack. Yes. Yes, yes. Not a bad pull. I will enjoy that. Um, 
Thank you for watching, and as always, tap that subscribe button to join our mana pool. Like, comment, share, whatever. We love you, and good night. Bye-bye!